The following television broadcasts have been banned for the sake of your very soul. My name is AJ Spatola with Most Amazing, and these are the top 10 lost TV episodes that were banned for your own protection. At number 10 is Ghostwatch. Ghostwatch was a 1992 docuseries that went out of its way to present itself as a live telecast in order to convince viewers that the experiences of the crew were real and unscripted. And so when the series abruptly depicted a brutally horrific scene just a few episodes in, this led to some serious psychological harm akin to the effects of the War of the Worlds radio broadcast. The show was aired by the BBC and they probably didn't think that everyone would take it so seriously, but they did and it caused a big ruckus. People got seriously freaked out thinking that what they were watching was actually happening for real. It got so bad that the BBC had to issue a formal apology and stop the whole thing from airing because it was just messing with people's heads too much. Now, watching it back today, you'd probably laugh and think it was more funny than spooky, but back in the 90s? Oh boy, that was nightmare fuel for a lot of people. At number 9 is the Scooby-Doo Project. Back in 1999, Cartoon Network had this wild idea to mix Scooby-Doo with the big movie scare at the time, Blair Witch Project. They made this spoof called the Scooby-Doo Project. Picture this, the gang gets lost in the woods, and then they mix in real life shots of cops hunting for the missing gang for a complete found footage experience. Now here's the kicker. It got an award and good reviews, but it vanished from TV after the first showing. Some people thought it got the boot because it was too scary for the usual cartoon vibe, and so it vanished into thin air after just the first airing. The mystery of the Scooby-Doo project staying off screen might just be one for the Scooby and gang to solve if they ever get the chance. If you're enjoying the video so far, please support the channel by pressing like, subscribing to Most Amazing, and ringing that notification bell. It gets the video seen by more people, and it's free, so what do you got to lose? Number eight is Local 58. This series is supposed to mimic a public access TV channel from West Virginia. But here's the twist, it's not your usual programming. It's got these bizarre cryptic messages that really mess with your head. Like one warns you not to look at the moon, another shows a car being chased by some freaky creature. Get this, there's an emergency broadcast saying the US got invaded and people should, I kid you not, unalive themselves for the country's honor. Creepy, right? It almost feels as though the local broadcast network got hacked into and now unseen forces are trying to subliminally mind control you. Anyways, the fifth episode, Station ID, was a game changer as it was called Analog Horror at 476 megahertz, and that phrase stuck around, becoming the genre's label. At number seven is the banned Star Trek episodes. Madness, torture, sadism, and disease. Not exactly your typical stuff you'd expect in your friendly TV shows, but for the OG Star Trek series, these words sum up these episodes. Miri, Plato, Stepchildren, and The Empath. And whom gods destroy. In the UK, where they saw Star Trek as a kid's thing, these episodes got the boot because these topics were a bit too heavy for the young ones. Even in the US, they had some second thoughts about airing The Empath due to its brutal scenes. They thought it might be a bit too much for the earlier time slots. Now, the big cheese behind Star Trek, Gene Roddenberry, wasn't a fan of these bands. He argued that pain and suffering are just part of life's deal. So while we do see Star Trek as this cool space adventure, there are moments where things got real heavy. Such is life, I guess. At number six is the Mandela Catalog. The Mandela Catalog is a series of tapes which delves into the eerie events in Mandela County, Wisconsin. These videos aren't your regular entertainment as they're a mix of tutorials and mysterious footages revealing alternates. Picture this, these creepy beings morph into whatever they want, then hunt down folks in the county. They're real life shapeshifters so they can be your buddy, a pet, or anyone around until they strike. Now the freaky part is that they mess with TV and radio waves, warping broadcasts and sneaking their spooky messages into them. Imagine tuning in and seeing something totally bizarre or getting images twisted by these alternates, not to give anybody the heebie-jeebies. Their uncanny appearance spread like wildfire online, freaking viewers out far and wide. The tapes got banned real quick, but the mystery of the alternates kept people spooked and curious. At number five is the X-Files Home episode. The X-Files was known for its mysteries and creepiness, but Home took it to a whole new level. This episode was like a roller coaster turned into a nightmare. 
Mulder and Scully stumbled upon a family that wasn't just strange, they were seriously messed up. Imagine a family that's been keeping their mom, who's missing all her limbs, locked up and perpetually pregante. Yeah, it's horrifying as it sounds. The Peacock's family story wasn't just disturbing, it was way beyond what folks expected on TV. The episode featured some seriously gruesome stuff, like brutal unalivings and messed up family secrets. It was so intense that it got the boot after airing just once. The network decided it was too much for viewers, so if you're up for some late night scares, just remember that home might be a bit too intense for your X-Files binge watch session. At number 4 is the Fear Factor Hee Haw Hee Haw episode. Now there's this notorious episode of the Fear Factor that got the boot faster than you can say, ew. Fear Factor is a show where people faced crazy challenges for cash, and it hit a major roadblock with its finale, Hee Haw Hee Haw. Fluids. Gross stuff. I'm not gonna mention it here. It was too far for even Fear Factor's extreme standards. NBC slammed the brakes on that episode, waving the band hammer just because it was too much for TV. Joe Rogan spilled the beans on his podcast, admitting that it was this revolting challenge which was the last straw, ultimately ending the show. At number three is Peppa Pig's episode Mr. Skinny Legs, which got the boot in Australia, not because it was bad, but because it featured a spider. Now in the UK where the show originated, this episode was all about teaching kids not to freak out about common spiders that sneak into homes. But down under, Australia is home to some seriously nasty spiders, so their government was like, hold on a second, this might not be cool. They were worried that if Aussie kids saw Georgie and Peppa chilling with a spider, they might try it themselves, and that's a risk not worth taking in Australia. Now banning the episode might be seen as a bit extreme, when it's about keeping the youth safe from potentially dangerous situation, it makes sense. At number two is the electric soldier Porygon from Pokemon. Now this episode got banned for quite a weird reason. In that episode, Ash, Pikachu, Misty, and Brock ride on Porygon while in cyberspace. Team Rocket fires an antivirus missile at them, and Pikachu uses electric attacks to stop the missiles. Now, there's a part where a flashing red and blue light appear on the screen for only 4 seconds. But those 4 seconds were enough for 700 youth in Japan to have seizures and end up in the hospital because of those flashing lights. Because of this, the episode got scrapped and Porygon got the short end of the stick, having never showed up again in the Pokemon series. And at number 1 is Puerto Rican Day in Seinfeld. In this particular Seinfeld episode, the gang faces a chaotic scenario during the Puerto Rican Day parade. Things go haywire when Kramer unintentionally sets a Puerto Rican flag on fire with his cigar. He then attempts to douse the flames and, and ends up stepping on the flag in a frenzy. Now this caused a huge ruckus among some viewers as they saw it as a disrespectful move and labeled the joke as rude against Puerto Ricans. The backlash was strong enough to get the episode banned. People felt the scene disrespected the flag and the Puerto Rican community. Kramer's klutzy behavior is kind of his thing, but this time it stirred up some serious controversy. The show had its moments, but this one crossed the line for many folks. So an episode about how a beloved show got the boot for offending some viewers. Remember, these shows were banned for a reason, so don't go seeking them out unless you really know what you're doing. As always, if there's a creepy TV show that was banned that you weren't supposed to see that you think I've missed today, feel free to let me know down in the comments and just maybe I'll include your suggestions in the next iteration of this list. This has been AJ Spatola with Most Amazing and I'll catch you all in another video. Later.